You know, I've often been told by people that they could listen to my voice all day. Let's test this theory out, shall we? See, I'm not here to pull any fancy, sneaky tricks. I'm not going to fractionate you right here, right now, or do my usual fast, chaotic, and overwhelming shtick. No, no. I'm literally just going to talk to you. Talk you into a nice, relaxing trance for me, okay? I think it would be pretty easy for my voice to get deeply embedded inside your head to the point where nothing else matters. Nothing else exists. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This is about seduction. And the slow, essential ways I can take hold of you in your mind and hypnotically control you for a moment. I bet that sounds nice. I mean, let's be honest. If it didn't, you wouldn't still be here. So let's just talk. Or should I say, I should talk. And you should listen to me. My words, my thoughts, as they drift through your mind. It's okay for you to take a moment. A pause in your day to sit or lie down. To get fully comfortable and listen to me. It's alright for you to do whatever you need to, to become fully immersed in the fantasy of a moment alone. Just you and me. My focus is on you, and yours is right where it needs to be. Do you know about the art of seduction? It is a skill, after all, but one with creative elements. It's wordplay. It's an enticing look of allure, it's a feeling, a mood, a gentle pull in the right direction. It's something that lures you into me, and something that is hard to put into exact words to tell you what it is, but you know it when you see it, when you hear it, when you feel it. A seduction into hypnosis is a slow descent down into a place where you feel so nice and relaxed, and in this case, deeply controlled. But I know that's exactly why you came to me. That's why so many do come to me. Because they know, as you know, that I can induce feelings like that within you. Feelings that make your mind real and deep submission and obedience to me, but for that I guess you'll need to practice a little patience. It's not time yet. See, right now it's time for you to relax. It's okay for you to relax right now, isn't it? You have all the time in the world to sing into my voice and give in to me. So let's take our time and be nice and patient with you. Do you like feeling relaxed? Sure you do. I'm sure you had a long day and your body needs a bit of rest and relaxation. But lucky for you, my voice has a way of bringing your mind and body to a peaceful place where you can let go and relax. I don't need to tell you which parts of your body relax first, of course. Your mind already knows, and of course the benefits of relaxation are endless. Although in this case you relax because you feel comfortable. You find comfort in my gentle tone, and plush words enveloping your mind. Pretty words that lure you in towards me. Pull you gently more my way. The way I want you to be. Because it just feels so nice. You listen and relax, you relax because you listen. What a fun little feedback loop that I can make in your mind. I can, of course, tell you to take a deep breath. And relax. I can do that, but I know naturally your body will start to slow your breathing all on its own. It will because you listen, because you relax, and because you relax, your breathing slows down. And then I can say, ah, oh, of course, it was the hypnosis. My voice is so hypnotic and soothing for you. I did that, right? Yes. 
And all I'm doing is talking to you after all. I'm not employing any of my sneaky tactics, I'm just using what I have. A nice voice that you have to listen to. A voice that when used in this magical turn creates this feeling inside your mind that grows and spreads. See? Just like that. The more you notice it, the more it just happens. Maybe you'll notice it three minutes from now, maybe hours, maybe days, maybe right now. But when you do, it's like a switch in your mind. And that feeling feels so nice to notice. Do you find me alluring? What a loaded question. I know, I'm sure when you hear my voice, your mind drifts off to a place. To imagine some sort of scene where I'm weaving words in your head as you mindlessly drift off. Wouldn't that be so nice? You know, people often think that hypnosis is sleep. That's not exactly true, but can you recall a time when you were sleepy? Lying in your bed in the morning when you weren't quite awake, but no longer asleep? You could get up, but everything is so comfortable. You could move and shift, but you don't, because it's just too nice to just rest. And be lazy and let everything else go. You know you could do those things, but you just don't. And you won't. Because it's just nicer to not. To slip into a daydream. To lose yourself to comforting relaxation. And that state. Some people say that's what hypnosis is. Some say it's more like meditation or flow. It's... Focus, like you are focused on my soothing voice. See, regardless of what other people think, we both know you've already been hypnotized by me. Maybe it takes a second to register exactly when or how, but it happens so easily, so automatically. It's like breathing. It slows without notice. It happens without thought. My voice wraps around your mind and fills you up with my control so gently and easily. It happens subconsciously, without any thought or notice. But that's what you love about my voice. My magical hypnotic abilities happen because you let them, because you want them to. And piece by piece, you can feel the feeling of control trickle through your body and mind like a beam of light. My voice touches every piece, every part of you until it's all mine. Gently relaxing out of your control and into submissive obedience to me. But your mind is the last piece to lose control to me. Why? <laughs> well, like you, it's simple. It's because... I love when you feel your body give in as your mind still has time to register what's going on. The slight tug of your body losing control that makes your mind ache for full release from free will and thought. So you focus on that feeling, the idea with that thought grows as it grows, covering you with a gentle feeling, but your mind is still thinking, still capable of free will for now and well. I think it's time we really pushed my words in there and made them so much more important than those other things. Don't you agree? Of course, this is only a temporary thing, it's only for now, but, but don't you want to enjoy the experience fully and totally as you become obedient to me? So let's start with allowing my words to replace your thoughts. See, your thoughts don't seem to matter as much as the words going in. My words, like my voice, is shiny and takes away all that other boring stuff. Stuff you can have back later. Breathe deeply for me, that's right. Focus on relaxation to the tone of my voice. This tone that grips your mind and tugs you down, down down like this. Let my voice be that delightful distraction to your thoughts. Let me tempt you to listen and submit. Give in to me and my control. Imagine what it would be like if it penetrated through your body and mind like a gentle electric pulse. Right now, 
Should we start to prove how controlled you're becoming? That's right, I think we need something to show you how truly nice and deep you are going for me. I'm gonna give you a phrase. A phrase for your mind to hold on to. Can you do that for me? The phrase is, I am going deeper into hypnotic submission. I am going deeper into hypnotic submission. That's right, it starts as a gentle whisper into your mind. A light caress. It always does start small, but the more your mind latches onto it, and oh, it will latch on because I told it to and because it feels good to obey, yes. When it does latch on, that thought becomes so loud it overwhelms you. Maybe it even leaks out of your mind as you start to whisper it under your breath, a simple reminder that you obey, and you are becoming mine in this moment. You submit to me in this moment, and obeying your task feels good. So good it brings joy to your mind and body. A smile appearing on your face as you are so happy to submit, so happy to obey, you smile, helplessly for me, not because you want to, but because you need to. Now the interesting thing about filling your mind with my words, and not just my tasks and mantras like this, as you might have thought, but secret, isn't your voice my world? Isn't it all I should think about? And to that I would say, of course, it's nice to see you like this, repeating the words so endlessly and using that as an anchor to drag you deeper down into the depths of deep trance for me. It weighs you down with each repetition, and besides, you still can and will listen to me. It's just harder now to focus on your mantra and on making sure every single word, every single syllable that comes out of my head and directly into yours is caught. If you miss something, does your brain scramble to rewind and pick it up, or does it let it go? Do my words have that level of importance to you yet? You try and keep little mental notes like thousands of little letters and post-its sprinkled in your head, keeping track of everything I say. <laughs> That's cute, you know, you are cute. In fact, every time I say, you are cute, in this tone, when you are here with me, you will respond, I am cute for you, Miss Secret. Then you can go back to your mantra, or whatever your task is, do you understand? Not a yes for me, your mouth is very busy. Good. Now, you are very, very good. Now I think we need a cute little name for you. I think you're worthy of my good submissive, in fact. Every time I call you that, in that tone during these experiences, when you can truly let go with me, you find it bringing a wave of submissive bliss through you. A gentle sense of relaxation, of peace, in deep, submissive servitude and well <laughs> i'm not trying to give you a thing for praise but these things sometimes do happen <laughs> my good submissive you are cute very good <laughs> the mantra must be so strong for you right now in fact why don't you just keep going and going until i say stop i want you to repeat it until the words are meaningless which of course is a cruel trick on my part as the longer you repeat it the more meaning really does lock down inside your mind doesn't it i bet now i wonder what would happen if i made you open your eyes and feel a little bit more awake than before now that's right but you keep repeating your mind knows what's going on more than before, but it's like your mouth just can't help but keep repeating. Does that feel funny? My good submissive, that too. Interesting. Isn't it funny that whether your eyes are closed and you are deeply asleep for me or your eyes are open and you're half awake in this strange, fuzzy middle ground, how those fun little tricks get to you? It's like all along I just had a grip in your mind because, well, I do. Does me telling you that excite and enthrall you even more deeply? Does me starting to talk more slowly like this start to make you feel the dizzying pull of hypnotic depth washing over you? Does it start to ensnare you back into deep trance once more? Good. Close your eyes and sleep for me. That's right now. Stop repeating your mantra. And relax, my good submissive. And you might be thinking, 
I'm done with you, but this is just the start. See, I know, and you know, you can and will go deeper for me. You want to. You crave to feel the dark abyss my voice can bring you to. The feelings of submission deepening even more so. And we're gonna play a little game. A counting game, it's fairly simple. See, I'm gonna count from ten to one. And when I reach the number one, you will in fact be deeper than before. But you see, depth and hypnosis is a funny thing. It's hard to measure, hard to quantify, so we need to find a way to agree on what that means for you. Maybe your mind has a feeling it attaches to deeper trance. Maybe it's a feeling you have now that gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Maybe it's a desire to lose control more. Maybe it's a sense of the world fading more. Now, when you think about it, you find items and lists of things coming to mind. You even start to associate those with your feelings in submissiveness and trance right now. So as I count, you feel them more and more body and mind, giving up more and more losing to my control because that's exactly what you wanted, right? Oh, and as I count with every number, you're gonna say, Deeper and deeper down, a fun little way for you to show me that you obey, and also a reminder to yourself to go deeper into those thoughts, feelings, desires for submission. Ten deeper and deeper down, you are so cute. I love when your voice sounds blank like that. I want to hear it getting more blank, more lost in me. Nine deeper and deeper down, hearing it first, if you can, must be jarring like a gentle reminder that you're in fact already so hypnotized and going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper eight deeper and deeper down my good submissive goes deeper you go deeper seven deeper and deeper down those words feel so good to say don't they it's almost like between numbers you long to say them again, but you have to be patient and wait your turn. Are you waiting like this because they feel good? Sex deeper and deeper down, your voice gets so blank and empty like your mind as it starts to focus more and more on what really matters. And less and less on meaningless other things. Isn't that right? Important things like five deeper and deeper down, like obedience submission my voice echoing inside your empty head four deeper and deeper down three deeper and deeper down two deeper and deeper down on wait no you aren't ready to go down to the very bottom yet in fact, there isn't really a bottom, so even as I say one deeper and deeper down, you notice that you still aren't all the way that you could be. You could be more submissive, you could be more controllable, you could be, and you want to be. You crave to be ten deeper and deeper down again we go down 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 my voice is your anchor and it weighs you down it pulls you down with such force to be where you long to be nine deeper and deeper down eight deeper and deeper down and when the numbers pick up speed so does your ascent seven six five four three two one and I could, and I should hit zero, right? Zero marking the end, the bottom, my good submissive. But you can keep going down, down, down. Besides, you love your mantra too much to wish to stop. I can tell as now as I count, it starts to leak out even between numbers, like your mind starting to malfunction a little, allow it just to pop out here and there in this moment. Like ten deeper and deeper down till even when I'm speaking like this, your mind wants to know it needs to keep going. Deeper and deeper down, those words are just too nice not to have spoken slowly, out loud in your perfectly blank and submissive voice. Even the idea of hearing it makes you weak to the idea. And that's exactly what you wanted, to be a little more weak. A little more open and controlled. Nine, that's right. This time we are working to the bottom, and even then, how much further past that can you go? Eight, that's right. I know your mind is so grabby sometimes when I give you the best thoughts. And you can't help but latch on so tightly to these seven. Keep going. 
Don't you love how submissive you feel? I do. I can see it in every single part of you. Your face, your voice, your posture. You've changed since we began, but that change is so welcome here. Sex down, down, that mantra taking over you so easily. It's fun to be taken like this. Five, four, keep going down, down, down. And now we're nearing the bottom with three. That's right, two, keep going. And one. But when we hit zero, I'm going to say deep sleep now. And you'll stop your mantra. You will fully submit to me. And allow me to control you so deeply. And it will feel so blissful. Your mind is ready. You are ready for the sweet release of deep trance with zero deep sleep now. My good submissive, you are doing so well at being so deeply hypnotized for me. At this stage, I could ask you to do so many things and you would without thought, without question, because you are so controlled. You can feel it in the depth of trance I've pushed you to. You can feel it in your mind, body, and soul. You can feel it in my voice and how powerful it feels inside your head right now. It's such a fun feeling. It's one you can now very easily return to whenever you want. Whenever I want. See, every time I and only I say the words, submit deeply now with a snap of my fingers, you will return to this state. Not just one of deep trance, but to deep submission to me. Here in this space, every question I ask you, you will nod your head and say yes. Here in the space, every question I ask you, you will nod your head yes to. Your mind or mouth might even respond with, yes, Miss Secret, and feel the rush of obedience it brings you. It's so much more than just hypnotic trance. It's a deeper feeling of pure control that my voice allows you to have. Isn't that right, my submissive? You are cute. Very good. Now there's something else I need you to do for me. And for yourself, see, I know. See, you and I both know that I have your very best submissive interests at heart. And of course, I want you to know the feeling of my control. And I know you long to see the efforts I put on you in your deep trance to, well, see them in action. So this is what we call a hypnotic convincer. I don't really need to convince you of my power and control over you. You feel it. But I know you've been wanting to see if really you can be made to do something to show you you just simply had no choice. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a game with your need to please. You long to please me and something that will please me ever so much is seeing you leave a little comment on this. <laughs> Now, it's not going to be anything suspicious, nothing out of the ordinary. You're just going to comment on this with anything you want, as long as it has the phrase, I love to feel relaxed in it. Your mind will take this suggestion and embed it deeply into your mind. So once you wake up, you feel a little need to comment on this, to tell the comments about your experience, and to really show yourself to me and my power that I hold over your submissive mind right now. That phrase, I love to feel relaxed, will be in there. And you'll also feel compelled to like it, of course. You know that that brings me joy, and you want ever so much to make me as happy as I've made you today. Isn't that right? Yes. Now, before I wake you up, let's take a moment to count down one more time. And with every number, that suggestion sinks deeper into your mind. That compulsion to comment sinking deeper with five, four, three, two one. Very good. Now I'm not sure, and you aren't sure either, how much or as little you'll remember from this experience. Some people have a mind that loves to surprise them sometimes. Surprises come in many forms. I wonder what your mind is going to do. Maybe you'll have it all in there, maybe you won't. Maybe your mind will remember every single phrase or let my words drift in one ear and out the other. It's only a matter of time before we can tell. All I do know is regardless of memory and how good you are at forgetting to remember or remembering to forget, that suggestion is locked in there by my words and is there for you when you awaken. 
Now it's time to wake up. You will do so in your own time once this ends, taking as much or as little time as you need to come back to yourself. Maybe that's a self-count up, maybe it's not. Your mind knows exactly what it needs. Right. Now.